Allingham, the virtual Weber Bullet. Back in July 2022, I made a video where I reviewed a Weber rate cleaning product, and um, I thought it was all right. Uh, not really better than my normal process. I'll put a link to my normal process using oven cleaner down in the description below. But one of my viewers commented and said, has no one ever heard of Scotch-Brite Advanced Extreme Scrubber Pads? Just use those with some Dawn dishwashing liquid and it's really easy. Well, uh, I was skeptical, but I said, okay, I'll do that. And I went out and I found the Scotch-Brite Advanced Extreme Scrubber Pad. They sell for between $350 and $5 for a set of two pads, depending upon where you buy them at. And in my usual manner, I set that aside and I, you know, let time go by. It's been 13 months since that video and since I found the pad in the store. I've been sitting around, but I finally got around to making this video. So let me show you how it went using the Scotch Bright Advanced Extreme Scrubber Pad when cleaning the top cooking grate of my Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker. So here's my top cooking grate from the Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker. You can see it's extremely dirty and greasy. I cooked a pork butt on this. And this is a stainless steel cooking grate that I bought from a third party online quite a few years ago. Now I'm gonna put it in the sink with some hot soapy water, Dawn dishwashing liquid, and this is sped up uh, like 3,000 times fast. Gonna let that soak in the sink for 15 minutes and then turn it so the other side is underwater. Here's the Scotch-Brite Advanced Extreme Scour Pad. It scrubs four times better, they say, than the normal green one, good for grills and grates. And on the back side, it, tells, it eliminates the baked on messes and it won't rust and it won't splinter and so on and so forth. So that is the product in a nutshell. It's a purple pad, very much like a normal green Scotch-Brite pad. It does feel a bit stiffer. I don't think it's any thicker necessarily, but it does feel more, uh, a little more substantial. So here we go. I'm going to wet the pad and I'm going to start by just working on the top surface. I usually clean my grate uh, in halves. So I start on the top half and just knock off the major debris. And um, here I'm doing that. working around the handles. Just kind of wiping off the loose debris, just to give you a sense of how much came off of just the initial scrub on one half of the grate. And so now I'm gonna go in and fold that scrubber in half and I just start working between each of the rods of the grate. I do this again just on one half of the one half of the grate. So I, I sort of focus on the grate one quarter at a time on the top side and then one quarter at a time on the bottom side. Just really focus my attention on that. I start in the middle and I scrub out toward the ends, trying to get that middle support rod clean and the outer you know, perimeter rod clean as well. So this could be a really boring video. So let's go ahead and just speed this way up. And uh, you can just see me working the top side, now working the bottom side of that half of the grate getting all the nooks and crannies and around the edges. And here I have finished halfway, I think, and here's the result so far. So dirty halves now on the right and the clean halves on the left. Let's go ahead and finish that off. Working rod by rod, side by side, top half first, bottom half second. That's just my method. I know many people don't like to clean their grates. If you're not a grate cleaner, please don't be offended. I like to clean my grates. If you don't, that's fine. Here's the end result. Nice clean grate on the top side. And we're gonna flip it over and you'll see the bottom side as well. So I'm really satisfied with this result. And now I'm gonna go ahead and empty out the sink. You see how dirty that water is from all the stuff that came off the grate. I do have a protective, you know, sink thing majig in the bottom there to try to protect my stainless steel sink. I'm gonna rinse out the scrubber pad. It's in good enough shape that I will be able to reuse it another time at least, maybe maybe two more times. And 
here you see a shot of it. There is some, you know, some wear in one part there, sort of toward the center, but not in bad shape. Now I will rinse off the grate. Rinse off the sink a little bit as well while I'm at it. Starting on the top side. Now flip it over and rinse off the bottom side. I like to clean my grates, not only because I just feel better cooking on a clean surface, but really when you run a website and you're doing demonstration cooking for people, it just really looks a lot better to have a nice clean cooking grate. So I can understand why a lot of people don't want to do this at home, but I do it for sure. And here we go, just take a nice clean drying cloth and dry off both sides of the cooking grate. And that pretty much is the end of the cleaning process for this top cooking grate of my Weber Smoky Mountain cooker. And here it is on the counter, nice and clean, ready for my next cook. So in conclusion, this little purple advanced extreme scrubber pad from scotch bright it did a good job did it do a better job than the normal green scrubber pad which i think you can buy in a pack of 10 for maybe less money uh i don't know i guess maybe it works better than the normal pad but i don't think discernibly different as far as i can tell um, and i still like my process better where i use oven cleaner first to really remove and loosen a lot of what's on the grate. And then I come back with the normal green scotch bright pad and I hit the grate in the same way that I showed you in this video, the way I scrub it in the sink. So I give this product, I guess, a qualified thumbs up. It certainly does a good job. Um, maybe it's a little more uh, functional, a little more aggressive in the way it takes stuff off of your cooking grate, but is it worth the extra money versus the green one for you to seek it out? Maybe special order online? I don't think so. So that's my review of that product. I appreciate you watching my videos very much. Thank you. Uh, if you've gotten this far, please like this video. And if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell, that helps other people find my videos. If you've tried this product and you have any comments about it, any questions about it, please put them in the description down below. I read all of them. I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. And until next time, take care everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.